I guess before the video starts, if you want your room to look like this, be able to change the speed, change the pattern, lights, all this cool stuff. Uh, yeah, what you guys should do, definitely. Look in the description down below. There's a link to go ahead and buy some of these lights. They are very nice, I'm not gonna lie. I've used like four different brands of lights and these are definitely probably the best ones. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daxi back with another video. And today we have a unboxing video. And actually, I'm doing so many unboxing videos. I got one, and two, and three over here. Plus one more huge one over there. So if you guys are excited for these unboxing videos, there's about to be four of them, plus a lot more coming in the future. If you guys are excited for them, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and look out for more of them coming soon. In here, I have three items. I think I have another one here and another one here. Um, thing is, I'm gonna do each one of these items as a separate video because I feel like each one deserves their own. All right, but let's just tear this box open and get right into it. Handy dandy exacto knife. Handy dandy exacto knife. Poke the hole, slide it right through. Slide that thing right back in. No cuts in this house. This is my favorite. So I bought bag. All right, and what I'm gonna be going over in this video are these bad boys right here, which you guys probably already know by the title, but put those down, let me move this box out of the way. If you guys don't know what these are, these are LED lights. These are 32.8 feet each, the company is Hit Lights. I decided I was gonna buy these when I figured out that I'm gonna make this room that I'm currently in my sick gaming room. So I, I bought two of them because I did the measuring around here. I'm gonna need like 50 something feet and obviously 32.8 is not enough to get 50 feet. So I bought two of them, a little bit of overkill, but then I'll put them behind my desk and stuff, you know what I mean? All right, so enough of me. You guys came here to see the item. So here's the box. I'll uh, show you guys there. Looks like you open it from the bottom here. Let's just pop these bad boys open. Let's see what we got. All right, so you just fold this cover over here. Honestly, that, we can just take that out. Yeah, let's just take that out. So here is the contents inside. So here's your AC-DC adapter. This needs to be plugged into the wall for these lights to work. Here's the package with the controller. So here's some handy dandy instructions. Little manual, very, very small actually. Anti-static wet cleaning wipe. Also, I'm finding like these little clips that were just thrown in there. And here's the actual LED lights. So let's open these up. So it's like a Ziploc bag. Open it up and it comes on a wheel. Nice, okay, cool. The last ones that I bought didn't come on a wheel. They were just kind of like twisted together, which is not good, but these are on a wheel, 32.8 feet. Top is taped down, obviously right here. Honestly, there's not much for me to show you guys here besides that I got two of these. So all I'm gonna do is open up the next box here. It's gonna be the same exact thing. See, it's quite interesting because this first package came with two of these. This package just came with one. Same contents, just uh, I only got one of these instead of two. Let's take out this controller and see what it's like. All right, so be careful when you're opening this package because there's a couple of very uh, small pieces. There's also this thing that comes in there, which is the receiver for the controller. So you have on, auto, and off, and you have a speed up, speed down, I, I would I would think. And then the M, I think, stands for like maybe mode or something. You also have the brightness one over here and then a whole bunch of different colors. All right, so as always, you wanna test these bad boys before you put them up on the wall and figure out that they don't work. So, so let's go ahead and take this little piece of tape off here and unroll these. Now instructions stated that you have to unroll them before you plug them in, so do that. I don't know if it'll break anything if you plug them in before you unroll them, but you know what? You probably just follow the instructions. All right, so once you get to the end of the roll here, you'll kind of feel that it's stuck. All it is is a piece of tape attached to the wheel just pull it lightly and uh there you go your whole entire wheel is empty all right so now we got our lights so what we're gonna do here is unplug them in like so oh my god look at that already let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh settings here so again you can put on auto so that's auto blinking mode um then you, again you have to change your modes right so changing this mode oh that oh that's nice how this one and then again you can change the speed at which they change which is pretty cool as well you can lock them on a certain color. So I'm just gonna go through all the colors real quick. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Honestly, I'm very excited to get these going. Let's go ahead and unplug these and unravel the other ones as well. Now what's cool is that one remote can actually be hooked up to two different receivers. So you don't need the second remote if you're gonna hook them both up together. Once again, let's take this tape off and unravel these bad boys. So here comes the big test. We're gonna try and connect these bad boys and see what happens. So these are plugged in together. And we are going to try and plug these in and please tell me that it is going to work. All right, so they're in and I'm gonna turn it on. Oh yeah, they all work. Look at that. 
double the lights. So the next problem that I have here is I'm going to be putting them on the wall around my room at the very top. Uh, problem is that this adhesive will pull your paint off the wall. So if you think about doing this, uh, me and my dad came up with a pretty cool way to be able to do this. We made little cuts in the adhesive. I don't know if you guys know of the way that this comes off, but this is actually just like, so you pull this blue off of the white and you just peel it back. Uh, and then the, and you put the sticky white on the wall or whatever you're using. Uh, thing is, it'll pull your paint off, so you don't want to do that. So what me and my dad decided is that every foot, so here's like the last sticky piece, every foot. So I'm just going to kind of go over to like right here. So what you do is you very slowly just pull, put your knife underneath this blue and you pull it up like so back, boom, cut. So now you've cut through and you can see a little piece of the white. It's going to hold the blue. You're going to grab your knife and you're going to pull towards you, which is what you're not supposed to do with the knife. You've now created a little slit. So you do that every foot and you can go ahead and put it on your wall. And instead of taking a big strip of paint off, you might just take off a little bit. So I'm going to do that for all of this. And then I'm going to get back to you guys when I'm about to put it on the wall. So I did one entire 32 foot strip and I figured after doing it for a little bit of time here, I figured I'd let you know uh, the easiest way that I found to do this. So let's say we want to make a cut right here. What I would do um, is take like your exacto knife and I would definitely just, you know, make a little incision there to try and separate the blue from the white. So as soon as the blue is separated from the white, as you can see right there, um, you just take your exacto knife and you kind of just very lightly just, just drag across the top of the blue. That's it. You just make a tiny little slit as you kind of see there. Then you grab the corner that you first peeled and you just peel that back. So grab this with two fingers like so, slide the scissors in and make that cut. And there you go. That's like really easy. So uh, at first, you know, I was struggling to do it. Now I'm making like one cut every three seconds. So it's pretty simple. All right. So after much cutting, I mean, lots of pieces, we finally have finished both rolls of lights. Let's go ahead and put these things up. As you can see, the wire is not all that long. Uh, it's long, but it's not, you know, really that long. Um, so I'm going to kind of attach it like this cord in the corner here. I'm also going to put a, um, a cabinet thing here. So uh, you shouldn't be able to see this light at all, but it goes up to here. I need to make it up to there. I guess the lights are going to start early, but whatever. So just like I thought, I would have a couple of feet extra when I was done. But as you can see on the room, um, it starts there in the corner. And it goes all the way around, makes itself up, all the way up there, back around. And these angles were very difficult to get. But you know what? It worked. All right, so I'm going to be turning the lights off right now. I have not seen how the room looks with the lights on. This is going to be exciting. Let's hope everything goes well. All right, lights off. I'm opening the curtains and um, here we go. Oh my God. Look at that. What? Yo, wait, hold on, that, that red color, hold on, lock down red, oh man, what, again, this one comes down here in the corner, but you know what, it's, I don't really mind, I'm not going to be seeing that too much, so the room looks absolutely insane from the outside, like look at that, oh look at this, I can actually change the color from out here, like, look, I can't believe that actually reaches, you walk in the room from out here, that's insane, dude. That's crazy. Oh my god, look at the moment I just found. It's just flashing every color. Guys, this is not the setup I'm gonna have. I am going to have like my setup over here and a lot of other cool things going on. Um, but I don't know, guys, this is just crazy. Like, I don't know, just being in this room right now, like the vibe, I don't know. It makes me feel like so thankful for every opportunity that I've been given, like online. Not a lot of people get the chance that I get to um, you know, entertain a lot of people. And for that, I just wanna say thank you guys, cause uh, Truly, it doesn't mean a lot that you guys have given me this opportunity to entertain each one of you. And that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to work on all the other unboxing videos now. I feel like this is the coolest color. Right? Now, I'm just super grateful for everything, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, guys, I'm just so looking forward to moving my entire setup down here into a major gaming room. As always, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Nice old.